What's up everyone? We just hit 20,000 subscribers, which is a crazy milestone. I'm just super thankful to each and every one of you who's subscribed. I never thought that my channel would do this well after being on hiatus twice, but here we are. For this video, I'm just gonna be doing a Q&A and answering some questions that were asked in my Discord server, which you should totally join by the way. And then I'll be releasing my Lunar Client profile too. Yeah, without any delay, let's get into it. So my first question was, how did you get into pack making? So I've always been into like graphical design. I used to make a lot of like YouTube art, banners and stuff like that. I don't know, I guess just packs falls into that category. So it was just bound to happen eventually. So I got into pack making. I think I was through editing packs and making mashups when I used to play a lot of survival games back in like 2013. Put different blades on different sword handles, etc. Yeah, I guess that just eventually evolved into actual pack making. Next question is, what animes have you watched? I actually have a my anime list that you can see where I like update and put what animes I've seen before. So if you're interested, I guess I'll leave that in the description. How long do you see yourself doing YouTube for? I mean, I don't really see myself having an end. Like, it's not something I have a plan to. Yeah, I guess as long as I have motivation. What's my favorite movie? I think my favorite movie of all time has to be Spirited Away because I just love like Ghibli movies and it's been like my favorite movie since I was a kid. Next one is, what is your favorite pack you've ever made and least favorite? Um, I would say for least favorite, basically anything I've made pre the comeback I had a few months ago because a lot of my old packs are from like 2018, 2017. Like, I don't know, I feel like the shading style I used, I've improved on a lot. So it's like a lot of my old stuff. And my favorite pack I've made, uh, I would say my favorite pack I've made so far is probably my Sora 32X or my Lucid 16X. I'm pretty proud of those. Next one is, what games do you currently play? I mean, obviously I play a lot of Minecraft, but I also play CSGO, sometimes Osu, not so much recently, but no, I play the occasional random game as well, like GTA. Um, next one is, do you see YouTube as a career or a hobby? It's something I only started doing as a hobby, so yeah. Next question is, what is your favorite vegetable? Fiddleheads. I have no idea, I just googled for random vegetable names and I found Fiddlehead, so there's your answer. Um, next question is, how are you so good at spinning? Next question is by Lushi. She says, would you punt him? Yes, yes I would. I would obliterate him. Next question is, what is your favorite Hypixel game mode? I think at the moment, my favorite game mode would have to be Bed Wars, because that's what I find myself playing a lot. I just started playing a lot with my friends that aren't Hypixel players. It's cool to like play with them and just mess around. What resolution of pack do you like the most? I've always liked 32X the most, but as of recently, I've been growing more on 16X, but I would say both of those, 16X and 32X. This question is, in your opinion, what has been your favorite video slash pack to work on? Well, I already answered about the pack earlier, but for the video, I think my Crimson 32X video, I really liked editing that one. It was like a lot of trying new things for the first time, like the replay mod stuff. So yeah, I think that one is my favorite one so far. This one is, what is your favorite non-Minecraft YouTube channel? I feel like it's something I'm just gonna forget if I know other channels, but one channel I've always really liked that is not Minecraft related is uh, Yes Theory. I really like their videos. Uh, this question is, what is your mouse and keyboard? I always put my peripherals and my PC specs and everything in my description of all my videos. It's also on my about page on my channel, so if you're interested in what I use, then you can check that out. This question is, do you get paid for making packs? I don't take commissions for packs. Um, so most of the packs I make for people are for YouTubers and their milestones. Uh, this question is, what was your first pack? Like I said before, I did a lot of edits of packs. So I don't think I have like my first ever created pack but my first released pack is actually a pack that has somehow over 170,000 views. It like blew up out of nowhere when I first uploaded it. It's unlisted now, but it was called Saturation 256X. Uh, this question is actually a good question. It is, why did you quit YouTube and then came back after one year? See, originally when I quit YouTube, it wasn't directly that I wanted to quit YouTube. I was having a lot of issues with Sony Vegas and then mainly issues with my PC. My PC was underperforming a lot. This build already was like kind of a mid-range, low-range build that I've had for five years, but it just started running into a lot of problems and just making videos was not an option I had. Uh, next question is, are you Zuxed or Zuxed? Maybe Zuxed. No. How do you think of a pack theme and what you're going to do with it, like shapes, colors and stuff? I mean, typically ideas come to me pretty instantly of like what I want to do in terms of like the shape of the sword and stuff, because there's only really a lot you can do with mainly 16X, which is what I've been making a lot. 
And obviously, if you try and change it too much, it just won't look good. So you gotta stick to what you know already looks good or will look good. A lot of it is I just experiment. I just make it like a lot of different versions and just see which one looks best. As for colors and theme, usually it's um, a, a pack for a YouTuber. So it'll be whatever they want for their pack. This question is, will you ever do a pack making tutorial? I might actually in the future. I'm not too sure right now though. It could be something I will do. Um, this next question is, what is your favorite res to make and favorite res to use? I would say my favorite res to make is probably 16x just because it's like what I make the most as of recently. So it's just like what I'm used to at the moment. And uh, favorite res to use, I've only been using 32x and 16x recently. So those two resolutions. All right, and now I'm just gonna be releasing my Lunar Client profile. Yeah, one thing I wanted to say is I use the FOV mod and it has it set to all of my FOV values. So if you also use the FOV mod, um, you're gonna have to copy over your values or just turn this mod off. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's just HUD elements and stuff. I'll now show you how you're supposed to download and put this into your game so you can use my profile too. So the first thing you wanna do is whatever profile you have right now, it doesn't matter what it is, you want to click the save as new profile button and then you'll see that it will be named profile and then a number code so you want to remember this number code you could just leave your minecraft open and just alt tab and then you want to move on to the next step um, now the next step is to navigate to your dot lunar client folder so this won't be in the same place that your dot minecraft is which is the same place you put resource packs and stuff this will be in a completely different place it'll be on whatever your main drive is that you have your windows installed to then it'll be users and then whatever the name of your user is for your current PC. Mine is just users, so that's why it says it again. And then right there, there should be a folder called dot lunar client. So you want to go here and then you want to go to settings, game, and then here you'll see all your profiles. Now this is where you want to remember the name of the profile that was saved. So in my instance, it was 1851330950. So it is this one right here. To begin with, you'll see that the folder is empty. So you're going to want to close your Lunar Client now and you will see that it will generate all these files. And now this is where you download the file that's in the description for my profile. And when you open it, you'll see it has the same files and you'll want to copy all of these, drag them in and replace if necessary. And now you just open your Lunar Client back up. All right, now that you've got your Lunar Client open again, just go into a server or any world and then you will go to the new profile you made and you should see it look exactly like this. Then you will have my Lunar Clan profile. 